Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to episode 10 of uh, Corpse Party Book of Shadows. I'll continue with chapter 5, Shangri-La. And um, last episode we saw the intro and after much... Uh, we got the box from inside the music room cabinet, and we're just about to open it, and hopefully Fukuroi didn't jinx us. We're playing through the Mits Mitsuki arc, as depicted at the end of them, um, uh, which, uh, the ending of which was depicted in chapter 3 of the uh, thing. There, I got it right that time. Really, that, that's a lot of faith you have in us, Fukuroi. <laughs> I couldn't believe I just laughed. I guess Fukuroi's overtly serious deadpan reactions have become a source of strength for me. New ship, maybe? I can't even describe how grateful I was just to have him there. He was like a pillar of strength. With that in mind, I fearlessly opened the Polonia thingy box. Inside, wrapped in silk, was a small wooden board inked with calligraphy. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I wasn't particularly well versed in Buddhist practices, but in a place, in a place like this, any sort of any sort of protective charm seemed like a good item to have. Okay, so it's a charm. Where the heck do we go now, though? So maybe some new cutscene is gonna open up now that we've sorted out everything. Can I still pick that up? Nope. Right, okay. So let's just try going somewhere. Just going somewhere, examining something, nothing's there. Door is frozen. Don't go in teams, a bit too late for that. Let's try the staff room. Is that going to be unlocked? Or maybe we need to go to the other floor. Need to get into the mind of the developers. What are they thinking? What do they want us to do? That's still locked, so that's not it. Let's just try going up the stairs. I'm guessing we're done in the art room, so we need to, so we don't need to do anything about that, unless the the ghost in the art room is where we need to go next. I don't know. The girls' room is off limits. Let's see if the ref room has anything more to offer. Nope, that's going to be et eternally closed. Maybe we can fill up the hole. I don't know. It's not giving us any hints. This is difficult. So we, we've been there. There's nothing in the music room. But let me just check just in case. Maybe we need to use the charm. By which I mean run into a ghost and try to... Like, and, and something might happen. Maybe we're going ghost hunting. And maybe you're yelling at me for how bad I am at working out these puzzles. First of all, let's check the hole and see if we can do anything about the hole or bridge the gap. Is there anything here? That's the hole. Nope. Right, let's go into the art room. Maybe the patch in the corner has something to say to us. Nope. No hints whatsoever. Items. I've got it doesn't say anything, it just says we have a grave tag. You probably need to find some sort of item. And apparently the item is meant to be here, which how are we meant to know that? Oh my god, this is why the game is so hard. It's a difficult game. Now if I'm right. Oh look, there's a there's a ghost there. Oh, I know where that is. We know where that is. It's it's in the thing. Oh, 
Let's do it. Ah, my Tana. Sinde Genshon and the Sinji Tinakataga, Koreo Nai Shoko Manatari Nishimata. That's a good conclusion. Janakte, Konosto no Tanami Kikukate Koto. Toshio, Atasta Timotomota Tanga Stirkido, Konosto Mokomate Rimita. Can't hurt to help him. Komate Riodashi.俺たちにできることなら助けてやりたいな。そうだね。もしかしたらここから出る手がかりを教えてくれるかもしれないし。オッケー、あ、ウィノウェアダーです。ワンス。イツネスドゴンドゥダファースト。カズ、アイノウォ
the maggot sensing that something was amiss suddenly began pouring out of its various sockets and climbing all over that new rusted metal hole. Hi, tissues got them. Couldn't you have used like something else to nudge it into the bucket rather than Oh god. Oh boy. Help us, ghost. Help us. Kiminoatamatomuke. That's to be expected to look how rotten your body is. Nanda Kodomushitomoa Bokunokao Minikui. Oh, God, a vain ghost. Dojo Srio Kokonia Kimito Najoni Nakunate Ritoga Ozeiru. Okay, what about Nantoka Kesatsuni Renakse, Hani or Taiho Stemoranito? Oh, Fukuroi, you're so naive. Oh, my. How are you? See. Vain ghosts. Don't say that. I was like scared of you. I thought you were scared of me. 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 I thought you様子が変だよ。ああ。ああ。ここ入ったん外へ。自分がまだ生きているから。だから死人を見下す。傲慢な聖者。お前たちもこっち来い。おお。ああ。ああ。お前たちを奴らに渡してやる。God damn it, Fukuroi. Oh god, no, not this. We're in the bomb shelter. Oh no. Yoshikazu is gonna come and kill us. My surroundings are far different than I had expected. I seem to be in some sort of hallway underground. There was a chill in the air, both literally and figuratively. The smell that wafted about was both musty and Well, he's dead. His eyes were wide open, but he gave no response. Looking a bit closer, I noticed that his neck had been severely twisted. He was staring right at me, but his body was facing the other direction. And his half agape jaw was completely motionless. He wasn't breathing. So, He's not a person to joke. Oh god, no. And then there were footsteps. Caught it! Yoshikazu is gonna come. Oh my god, no, 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 no. What I do, what I do, what I do, what, what I do, run! Oh! Oh, you're that doggy photographer. I, I don't know why you call doggy photographer. That, that thing, that, that doggy thing. Uh, Wait, what? Whoa. Which, which ending are we on now? Oh boy. Wait, isn't this Naomi? When, when Naomi is down here? Oh! お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん誰あの人殺しのおじさんの仲間。Oh, 
あなたこの字どうしたの人殺しのおじさんって you really have to ask? わからないの大きいおじさんに友達が3人殺されて私だけ助かったの Oh god, you're acting so innocent now. Well, maybe this was after, just, just after Yoshikazu killed、um, those people. So, it's a little bit of a little bit of a l i t t l Isn't that kind of weird? You don't think anything's weird here, Misuki? How do you know? You're looking for your friends too. How do you know the way out? Stop following her, Misuki. Stop. No, oh my god, that, that's the death room. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. See, it's weird. Stop following her. Run back upstairs to wherever the hell you came from, Yusuke. Nare te ri kara. So, you know, I'm not a no na mae mada. Shinozaki Sachiko. Hey, it's a. Nani suru no? Oh, God. Nani yo shio ka na. Well, well, uh, don't help red spirits. God damn it, Fukuroi. Actually, no, it was going okay, and then Fukuroi ruined, ruined it. Kinda? Or, or maybe that, that, that guy's reaction was just bad. Jesus. I didn't decide if it looked more like a pre war medical facility or a meat processing plant. Both. The scent was overpowering. Not only was the smell of rotting flesh everywhere, but the air was stale and thick. The room seemed to have no ventilation to speak of whatsoever. My eye was first drawn to the blood splatter table, then to the many other instruments, all stained with dried blood and sprinkled liberally with viscera. And then I saw it in the back of the room. There's definitely more meat processing than the medicine going on in here. What I saw was literally a pile of human remains, every one of them flayed open or torn apart. It was almost like a stack of discarded butcher scraps. Shouldn't have helped him. Shouldn't have helped him. Shouldn't have helped him. Shouldn't have そうだな。つるせ。Oh god, the screen's going black, it's leaving everything to our imagination. Here we go. <laughs> you constipated. You sound constipated. The large man seemed intent on obeying Sachiko's every command, trying to get his poop out of his butthole. He drew near me slowly and robotically. There was no emotion, no sense of urgency. Just a constipated man walking across the room to do his job. Like it or not. <laughs> I have to run. If he catches me, I'll be. Uh, you probably backed yourself into a corner. Nope. The constipated man's movements remain slow and evenly paced. <laughs> But there are only so many places to flee in a room this small. If I get tired before he did, 
I'd be finished. His poop would be all over me. My only hope was to get out into the hall before that happened. The two of us glared at one another for a few moments from across, from across the dissection table, and then as soon as he made his move, I leaped on top of it. Yeah. I'd underestimated just how slippery the table might be. With its thick layer of blood and fat, I quickly spilled off the other side onto the floor. Uh-oh. My eyes and hindquarters were soaked through with the blood of an untold number of other people, but I didn't have time to think about that. Adrenaline gave me the strength to stick to my landing, and I managed to keep running without skipping a beat. <laughs> well, Sachiko's gonna block you off, you know that. I was in the home stretch for a couple more steps anyway. <laughs> uh oh, a sharp pain suddenly st shot through my leg set like, as it touched the ground. I immediately fell into a heap. <laughs> my red leg. Oh god, my right leg was now firmly impaled with thick, sharp metal spikes. I'd been caught in an old-fashioned bed. Oh my god. Worst way to... Ugh. The kind that's got two rows of metal shark teeth lined up on either side, instantaneously snapping shot as soon as any way to supplied in the middle. The thing was designed to catch bears and tigers, so what hope did a human have of escaping it? Oh my god, why don't you watch where you're going? They all say that. I swallowed my pain and started grabbing whatever I could get my hands on. Dirt, bones, anything, and chucking it at the approaching, you know, encroaching giant. It was the only thing left for me to do. I was out of options. <coughs> the man's foot came down hard on my left leg. It immediately contorted unnaturally and went limp, and I could see a pointed shard of bone jutting out from a bloody hole in my sock. Oh, God. Okay. Next, the man wrapped both my arms in chains. As he pulled on the chains, my leg muscles also tightened around sharp metal spikes and a compound fracture. The pain was literally unbearable. In my half-unconscious, agony-riddled, agony-addled state, I was just barely aware of being raised into the air by my arms on some sort of, some, on some sort of pulley system. Like that's gonna work. I was trying to imagine Oh wow, now empathy's gone out the window completely. Mitsuki, you're just desperate now. お姉ちゃん、肌綺麗ね。決めた。あなたは皮剥ぎの毛。顔の皮を全部剥いたら、体も隅々まで綺麗に剥いてあげる。Sachiko began approaching me with a broken off shard on an earthenware pot in her hands. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Kirena Puru Puru. Kuretsketara Tashimoto Nareda Tashira. This is really about the core now, and not so much the horror as the what the frick is going on, Sachiko. An intense pain shot through my entire face, an undiluted primal scream escaped my mouth unwittingly as if I were throwing up blood. But not a living soul was around to hear it. So, okay, so she realizes that they're dead. There was an absolute. There was absolutely no way for me to resist anymore. All I could do was lie in, 
limply strung up along the wall and feel my skin getting peeled away. Oh. Sometime amongst the throbbing, shooting, burning, electric agony coursing through every nerve, ending overseen by the girl's sneer, I lost consciousness. The very last thing I saw before lapsing into eternal slumber was a familiar strip of skin being flapped about a merrily, uh, being flapped about merrily in Sachiko's hands. Okay, your face is gone now. Yay. It was my own face, perfectly flayed from my head. Let, wow, staring back at me with blank eyes and flanked by Sachiko's overly delighted grin. Yay! Never help ghosts. Oh boy, wrong end, number two. Okay, now let's not take the head, because that's a bit ridiculous. Let's just, let's just go back to where we were meant to go. So how do you like that ending, huh? Twisted Sachiko. <laughs> it was this whore here, wasn't it? Okay, so screw you. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna get this. It looks like the key from an old-fashioned wind-up toy。ただの。Okay. So we got that. I'm gonna save over the um the um... There we go. Dodge the bad end. Uh, now what? Girl's room, I think? I don't know. Let's just try everything. Oh, that opens this. Okay. I don't read it. Fukurai did exactly that, and after only a few moments, there was a notable change in the air. Then all of a sudden, the grave tag emitted a bright blue light, and the door was engulfed in flames. No, because spiritual fires don't do anything to the living world. I'd already turned to run, but at Fukurai's urging, I turned back, and I have to admit, what I saw defied my expectations. And explanations as well. The flames weren't actually engulfing the door, but rather just the protective paper charms affixed to it. The door, the wall, and the floor were untouched. After several seconds of burning, the paper charms were completely vaporized, and the flames dutifully vanished, as if they were never even there. And the door changed shape. That's nice. I'm gonna save before I go in because I feel like something's gonna go wrong in there. Last time we went in there, it didn't go well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is this. No, this isn't the same room that Naomi was, um, thingy. So there's one at the end, and there's one on the second one, and there's a sink that we can examine. Let's go into the sink. The water in the basin is brown and thick. The drain must be like, the drain must be completely stopped up. There is something in there. Let's do this. I think it's gonna be a bad end. It's locked from the inside. It won't open. There's a tiny hole in the door. What's this? Maybe we can see inside from here. <laughs> Let's do it. Oi, There's no second verification? Oh god. I put my tail uh, eye up to the hole and saw the telltale glint of another eye staring back at me from within. Great. Sonapagana! Maybe they're standing on top of the um the bathroom. You never know the uh, the 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 flushy thing, the sister. That makes sense. God damn it, Fukurai! Fukurai ducks down and peeks through the hole exactly as I had. Ah! 
God damn it, you don't Hakurai, do that, Hakurai. Uh, as I got stabbed and pierced his brain, he freaking died, okay? Fukurai, this is why you don't confirm ghosts! Fukurai fell onto his side, and as soon as I could see his face, I noticed that his right glasses lens was cracked and his right eye was bloody. On closer inspection, I noticed a round hole in the lens as if a small stick or a fat needle had been instantaneously driven through it, deep into his eye. Fukurai! Fukurai, Deba! There was no hint of a response, he just kept subtly convulsing as if he'd been electrocuted. How had this happened? What was going on? <laughs> oh, it's Yuki. I think. Yeah, yeah, she's Yuki. The store door opened, revealing a little girl with a hairy blue glow about her. She looked to be around grade school age, a fifth or sixth grader maybe. One of her eyes had been completely pulverized, but her face showed no indication of the pain. Rather, it had a certain stoic quality to it, it was unreadable. Most disturbing of all, however, was the object she had in her right hand. It was an awl or an ice pick or some such thing with a bloody dripping blade. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's sealing Yuki. Oh, oh boy. Before I even had a chance to answer, the girl leap from the store with blinding speed. That could be a thumbnail. Let's take a look at that. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, the ice pick got into our eyes. Oh god, I've got something in my eye. What is it? Oh, it's a freaking ice pick. Reacting as quickly as I could, I threw my arm in front of my face and almost immediately felt the ice pick blade pierce right into it. Not just once, but twice. Thrice. It dug deep into my arm, my palm, my shoulder. So, wait, it was going like this then? No, no, it was like... How, how, how was it? Is like this and it went like that? I don't know. Okay, you can stop it now. You can stop it now. I had to run, but she wasn't about to let me. She just quietly kept hacking away, working her way up and down the entire length of my arm. Oh god freaking damn it. Bit my bit my skin and flesh was chipped away until finally the ice pit completely penetrated my palm and began boring into my cheek. Oh, I didn't read that. Eventually, my ear was hacked apart and then I was scalped so thoroughly that I could hear the sound of my skin peeling away with my remaining ear. Oh god, there was nothing in the world but pain at this point. I couldn't focus on anything else, even if I wanted to. My vision was blank, and I honestly couldn't tell if it's because I had my eyes closed, or if I simply didn't have eyes anymore. I only knew for sure that I was still being hacked apart, because I could still hear it. The pain gave no indiction. No indication as it was already omnipresent. I begged for mercy several times in vain before I finally just started praying that then that this agony would come to an end. God please I'll endure whatever trials lie ahead with open arms if you'll just save me now. I beg of you please make it stop. A lot of landmines here, um, isn't there? Holy crap. Wrong well, end three. Okay, let's just look at the uh, stall in the end. Let's not look at the uh, look at Yuki in the face because that's not going to go right. It's locked from the inside. It won't open. So what was the point of even opening this room? Ah, uh, let's see. ここから中の様子が確かめられそう。なるほど、さすがアイディア。何か意味がありそうだけど、どうする? 
working on a hunch, I took the wine of key from my pocket and tried sticking it in the hole. That's not sexual at all. Surprisingly, it was a perfect fit. I then tried turning it, and with just a little bit of force, it spun 180 degrees to the right and produced a loud click. Hey, what's going on? Yuki, what are you doing? As if on cue, a single hairline stream of blood began oozing out from behind the wind-up key. Yeah, because we just stabbed an eye in there. It slowly went, uh, winded its way, went, well, whatever, winded its way down the door and formed a I formed a gloppy pool at its space, the whole room then filled with a pungent odour all at once. Hmm? <laughs> okay, um, earthquake, um, dimension altering earthquake. Here we go. Yep. We need to find a way out of it. Can we examine that again? Slot from the inside? Okay, thank god. There's nothing else to do, to do up here anymore, because like, that, that's all blocked off. Let's not go to the referent, otherwise we're going to wreck havoc with that ghost. Um, that little uh, wisp. So we need to. Well, he said get out of here, so let's try. Oh. Oh, the exit door is rattling with the, with the rain and wind, and seems like a perfectly normal, perfectly openable door now. Ooh. Ooh. Mayu! Iruka! Oh. Okay, so we're back with Shige. Oh, there's a dead body in the corner. I didn't expect that, I think. Mayu, where are you? Not here, not anywhere. She's already dead. Another dead body. Another dead body. How do you feel in this school? Don't ask me, son. Don't ask me. Yui-sensei ka, mochita atari to issho ni ite kure leba ii ga. Oh, events. It's just cutscenes. Okay. So, Shige stumbled onto the, um, the candle that we found. Let's save. Big hole on the floor. Ana no soko ni nani ka aru ga. Oriru no Oh, okay. Rip, what's this? So, Corpse has only just started to decay, seems to be junior high school girl, apart from, and from the looks of it, completely in half, using an. Oh my god. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, こっち側に散ってるから刃物は体の前から入ったのかうん何かあるのです what I noticed a notebook partially jutting out from her pocket it was one of those cat themed spiral notebooks that's all the rage with teenagers these days この建物から出る手がかりでもあるかもしれないすまないが読ませてもらおう you seem normal now Shige, you seem normal. I have no idea why we've been trapped here. But at least we're all here together. Mr. Goto's presence makes us all feel a little more at ease. Without an adult around, I don't think we could handle any of this. Mr. Goto seems even more anxious than we are. He says he'll make sure we, we'll, we all get home safely. But his temperament just keeps getting worse. He's usually so cool, but lately he's just gotten kind of scary. Hiroko, Arisa, and the others are getting really fed up with him. Mr. Goto is so unfair. 
He keeps playing favorites with Hiroko. That was the last of our food too. And I'm the one who stopped Hiroko and Norika from fighting. Mr. Goto is dead. <laughs> oh my god. <笑>手がかりにはならないな。他に何かないのか。なあ、君。何か知らないか。死体に話しかけるなんて。俺もどうかしてる。しかし、<笑><笑><笑> <笑>家はにばし。恐怖心が麻痺したのか。この子だって最近まで俺と同じように息をして考え生活していただろうに。今はこんなに臭い肉の塊か。オッケー、カミストップだな。綺麗な顔してるけど。この顔もしばらくし
そういうものですか Yes, sir. So you're using your business to like shield your, your job almost, to like shield yourself from the realities of the situation. I think that's what I'm getting at. Takechi, is that right? 興味がない話だったかな<笑>僕はどうも口数が多くて、ナホちゃんにいつも。それは外。どうだいこの際だから、一緒に行動しないか。Oh, this is an interesting、uh, いえ、せっかくですが、僕はもうしばらく、一人で探してみます。Rejected. 田口さんの足手まといになるのも悪いですから。Rejected. こんなやかましい人と同行するのはごめんだな。目上の人間と接するのも疲れるしそうかじゃあ後でまた合流するのはどうここは磁場か何かのせいで時計が狂ってしまうけど大体の目安で1時間後にそこの玄関で待ち合わせよう Yeah, oh, electromagnetic frequencies Yeah, I, I know what that stands for Yep, 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 okay, um, I think I can keep time I'm gonna hour How, how do you know an hour's gone by? こんな場所で生きてる人間に会えたんだ。君だって情報交換くらいしたいだろ ?I guess. そういうことなら、わかり。あ、oh, OK! 決まりだじゃあ、気をつけてね。OK! Oh my god! This is a lot of. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. This is a lot of,、um, a lot of stuff. Right, um. Let's see. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna save and I'm gonna end the episode here. It's coming up to 52 minutes.、Uh, we found two bad ends and. Apparently, we teamed up to Tagachi, which、um, I didn't expect to be doing. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I end up recording, I guess. Bye!